Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ahlan wa sahlan. Welcome to this video, guys. My name is Yaqa Zaman, and it's been a while since we have done any Arabic poetry. This series is dedicated to the poetry of Sayyidina Ali ibn Abi Talib radiallahu anhu, or the poems which are attributed to him. Either way, the poems are filled with a lot of lessons and benefit for students of knowledge, especially those who are passionate about learning the Arabic language like myself. So, if you have not hit the like button, I don't know what you're doing, hit the like button and make sure you leave a nice comment in the bottom as well and a suggestion for future videos. So let's start with this point and he says, ما ودني أحد إلا بذلت له صف والمودة مني آخر الأبد ولا قلاني وإن كان المسيء بنا إلا دعوت له الرحمن بالرشد ولا تمنت على سر فبحت به ولا مددت إلى غير الجميل يدي ولا أقول نعم يوما فأتبعه بلا ولا ولو ذهبت بالمال والولد. alright so what is he saying over here so ما ودني أحد إلا بذلت له ما ودني nobody ever loved me what actually would is what they would do actually comes from the word to have mutual love love which is kind of like reciprocated love right so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is called the wadud and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has also mentioned about you know, the word wad wud as well tazawwaj al wadud marry the wadud women so ma waddani ahadun no one has ever loved me no one has ever showed love to me illa badaltu lahu except that i badala yabzulu it means to exhaust like i've used up i've spent badala so this word actually is used in like you know if a person's going to work very hard in doing something they say this guy badala juhdahu right so badala hayatahu this person has sacrificed his life so the word badal is a word that's used for you know using it up doing the best that you can, the utmost that you can in order to achieve whatever you want to achieve. So this is called Badil, Badil, Badala, Yabdul, Mabdul. Have you ever heard of the uh, commentary of Abu Dawood called Badil al-Majhud, Badil al-Majhud, right? So Badil, it means exhausting the Majhud effort. Ma waddani ahadu, no one ever loved me except badaltu lahu, except that I exhausted for that person. I, I gave everything for that person. Like I, 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 what's that word for it? Put in the comments, right? Put in the comments. What would be the best word for this? It means I give them myself. I give them everything I can for them. Badaltu lahu, safwal mawaddati minni akhil abadin. This is safwal mawaddati is actually the, the, the maf'ul bihi or maf'ul mutlaq here. So, بَذَلْتُ لَهُ Exhausted for him Safwa Safwa Safa yasfu. In fact, the word Mustafa Actually comes from this word Safu right, Which means pure um, And you've probably heard of a tafsir called Safwa tafasir. Yeah, So, Safi Water when it's clean and clear You can see through it You call it Safi And you've probably seen this word Safiya And, uh, you know Safwa So, there's lots of you Sort of uh, words that are around this word that can be made. So, saf wal mawadda. Mawadda again is from the word wood. Mawadda in the Quran. If you know where this word appears in the Quran, put it in the comments below. I'll, I'll give you a clue. Generally, in in nikahs, the imams usually mention this ayah. Saf wal mawaddati. So pure love. I bazal to lahu saf wal mawaddati. I exhaust for him saf wal mawadda. Pure love minni that's from me. Akhir al-abadi Akhir al-abad Abad means forever Akhir means end So Akhir al-abad in Arabic is actually used when you say Until the end Like until the last day Ma waddani ahadun illa bazaltu lahu Safwa al-mawaddati minni akhir al-abadi No one has ever loved me No one has ever shown me love Except that I exhaust for them I use up for them Safwa al-mawaddati Pure love Safwa al-mawaddati minni from me Abadi, until the end, until the last day. وَلَا قَلَانِي وَإِنْ كَانَ الْمُسِيءَ بِنَا وَلَا قَلَا يَقْلُو It means uh, oh, oh, قَلَا, قلا يق, يَقْلِي قَلَا يَقْلِي 
also comes for frying as well. Okay, so it actually is supposed to be qala yaqli. I think I'm qala yaqli. No, if I'm wrong, put it in the comments. But from what I remember, qala yaqli is also for frying. So you fry, fry a fish, you say qala hu aw yaqlihi, maqli, samak maqli. And qala yaqli also comes for hating. Now in the Quran, this also appears. Wadduha wal idha saja ma wadda'aka rabbuka wa ma qala qala. So, wala qalani, and no one ever hates me, has bitter hatred for me. Wa in kana al musi'a, even though he is the one who is in the wrong. Al musi' the wrong. Asa'a, yusi'u, isa'atan, and the ism file is musi'. Even though he is wrong, bina, to us. Yeah. وَلَا قَلَانِي وَإِنْ كَانَ الْمُسِيءَ بِنَا Even though he is the one that did wrong to us. إِلَّا دَعَوْتُ دَعَا يَدْعُو دَعَوَةً To make dua, Ar-Rahman is Allah and Rashad is guidance. So no one has ever hated me even though he was in the wrong, he was the one that did wrong to us. But I still, إِلَّا accept that دَعَوْتُ لَهُ I make dua for him to Rahman. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Rahman to give him Rashad. Rashad means like uh, sense or guidance or ability to be able to see see the truth. So in other words, Ali radiallahu ta'ala and subhanAllah beautiful, isn't it? He's kind of showing how a Muslim is supposed to like uh, transcend beyond fulfilling his, his carnal desires when it comes to you know dealing with other people. When you love someone, then you show them pure love. And when you when someone hates you, when someone loves you, you reciprocate that love. When someone hates you, right, you don't necessarily reciprocate that, but it's ideal to make dua for them. Yeah, and it's a very hard thing. Yeah? Let me know in the comments as well. But these guys were the students of the Prophet. ﷺ. These were the, the ones who were in the company of Messenger. ﷺ. So they learned from the best. The Prophet ﷺ who forgave people who, who harmed him. From the word aman. Aman means peace, as you know. And this word comes in various forms in the Quran. Mentioned in the Quran five various forms of the word aman in various ones. Yeah. So, like for example, aman is one. Amana yuminu. I'tamana yataminu. Wala tu mintu. So this is majhul. It means to, to entrust something with someone. Right? So to give someone something as a trust. So, to I have never been made a person who is given a trust. Right? So, I have never been made a trustworthy person, a trustee of something. Yeah. Uh, so, to mintu, I'm just trying to think. There's a hadith with this as well. Yeah. Uh, it'll come to me. If you remember, guys, put in the comments. وَلَأْتُ مِنْتُ عَلَى سِرٍ فَبُحْتُ بِهِ وَلَأْتُ مِنْتُ And I was never entrusted عَلَى سِر Sir, it means a secret. Right? So, أَسَرَّ يُسِرُّ إِسْرَار It means like to say a secret to someone. Yeah? To say a secret to someone. You call it أَسَرَّ يُسِرُّ سَرِيرَ um, is a secret as well. فَبُحْتُ بِهِ بَاحَ يَبُوحُ بوح It means to... And disclose it, yeah, to expose it. So you say, "Buhtu bi hadal qawl, buhtu bi hadal kalam, ba hazid bi hadal kalam, ya buhtu bi bil 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 muhadatha or kalam." Yeah. So it means to say something aloud to kind of publicize it. I have never been entrusted with a secret and then gone and exposed that secret, disclosed it to others. Right. In other words, when people trust me, I can be guaranteed as a trustee. وَلَا مَدَدْتُ إِلَىٰ غَيْرِ الْجَمِيلِ يَدِي So, مَدَّ يَمُدُّ It means to extend. Again, this word like يَا مَدَدْ يَا اللَّهُ مَدَدْ right, So, this word is used for help, seeking help. And again, in the Qur'an, if you know where this word actually appears in the Qur'an, or any form of it, put it in the comments below. And مَدَدْ also means to stretch or extend as well. It's right, so another usage of مَدْ مَدَّ يَمُدُّ مَدَّن فَهُوَ مَادًا yeah, So, مَمْدُودْ Right, it means something stretched out. So, wala madadtu, I have not madadtu stretched out ila ghayl jamili yadi. So, yadi is the maful bihi of madadtu. So, I have never stretched my hand out to something which is not good. Jamil means beautiful. 
So the Arabs, when they say, Madda yadahu ila ghayr al it means that did something wrong. Yeah, so if you want to say in a nice way, this guy did something wrong, it means, say, he stretched his hand out to something that's not nice. He stretched his hand out. So the Arabs use this word quite a lot. La tamuddanna aynayka. Don't stretch your eyes out to that which we have given others. Right, so la madatu. I've never stretched my hand out to something which is haram or something that is wrong. I've never ever done that to hurt someone or whatever. Wala madatu ila ghayr al jamili yadi. My hand. Wala aqulu na'am. And I never say qala yaqulu. I never say na'am, yes to someone. So if someone asks me to do something. I never say yes to them yawman any day. فَأُتْبِعُهُ And then follow that na'am up. أَتْبَعَ يُتْبِعُ إِتْبَعِ means to follow up, to do something after after another. فَأُتْبِعُهُ And then go and follow it up with bila, Meaning, you'll never find me if you come to me and you ask me to do something and I say yes. You'll never find me break my word. I will never break my, my, my promise. I will always follow it up. Yeah, so in other words, you never find me like that person who says na'am today and then tomorrow says, no, sorry, I can't do it. La, no. If I give you my word, if I say yes, I'm going to do it. And subhanAllah, such, such amazing characteristics that we lose, we have lost today. You know, we're losing them in our societies. Many of our, most of our, a lot of our society, you can say, is filled with this dishonesty and people who are just selfless, selfish people rather than selfless people. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. وَلَوْ ذَهَبَتْ بِالْمَالِ وَالْوَلَدِ وَلَوْ ذَهَبَتْ بِالْمَالِ So ذَهَبَ يَذْهَبُ It means to go. When you have ba after ذَهَبَ It has the meaning of to take away. Right? So over here ذَهَبَتْ Why is it مُؤَنَّثْ feminine? Because the word na'am is a kalima. Right? So it's saying even if na'am takes away all of my wealth even because I said na'am to a person I gave my word to a person I'll do it. And it ends up me losing all my wealth and losing all my children. In other words, my wealth and children in the Arab sense is like everything I have. My whole life savings. All my world. Even if I lost all my world, I would still hold my word. Keep, my, keep to my word. Yeah. So this is, Arabs use this in the Quran as well. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions, Al-Malu wal banuna Wealth and children. This is time and time again because Allah is showing that this is how Arabs understood everything that was precious to them. So how beautiful is this? لا أقول نعم I never ever would say نعم Yes, يوماً any day فأتبعه بلا And then follow it up with the word no Even if ولو ذهبت بالمال والولد Even if نعم Saying نعم would end would result in the in the ending of all my wealth and all my children yeah. Again, subhanAllah How beautiful of a saying Ali radiallahu anh has over here What do you guys think of this? Do you guys like this poem? Is this something that really kind of uh, reflects or is it something that resonates with you? I, I like it a lot because he's talking about higher characteristics, like these lofty characteristics that we all want, but many of us are, n- are not emotionally strong enough to control those desires of ours like that. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for us. Right, so uh, so let's look at some uh, some expressions here. Ma waddani ahad illa badal. So this is a nice one. Like when you say something, they say illa. ما كتبت شيئاً إلا وقد قلت بسم الله yeah. ما أكلت شيئاً إلا وهو حلال ما تكلمت مع أحد إلا وأنا أحترمه right. So you might want to use this kind of an expression in your Arabic phrases Okay, صفو المودة is nice صفو المودة yeah. So صفو صفو المودة pure love like Really kind of you know unconditional love Qala qalani. Qalani is a nice word. Qala yaqlu, yaqli. Yeah, qala yaqli. Nice word. We can use that. Musi asa'a ilayya. Yeah, this person asa'a ilayya or asa'a bina. So this person is a musi towards us. So this is another one you might want to use. Da'autu lahu ar-Rahman bil rashad. Da'autu lahu bil rashad ar-Rahman. I asked Rahman to give him rashad. This is a nice expression as well. I'tamana ya'taminu u'tumintu. أنا أعتمنك أنا أعتمنك على على سري I am entrusting you with my secret yeah, so this is again another nice Arabic expression that you might want to incorporate into your Arabic writing I honestly Arabic writing, practicing your Arabic sentence is very very powerful for helping you to even speak Arabic as well right so if you're speaking Arabic but you can't really get those phrases correct writing is probably one of the best ways I personally find that helps this 
and then atba'a yutbi is a nice one. Qara'tu al-kitab thumma atba'tuhu bi at-ta'am. Yeah, atba'tuhu bi at-ta'am. Alright, so dhahaba shay bi mali, dhahaba hadha bi mali. That's another expression. So try using these expressions, put it in the comments below. MashaAllah, some of you guys, um, you know, in the comments have very, very interesting uh, uh, writing creative skills, right? So keep it up, guys. Honestly, it's going to really help you on, in the long run and give you good understanding and, and also try to find words that are in the Quran as well. Anyway, طيب, يقول ما ودني أحد يعني ما أحبني أحد ما أظهر لي أحد حبا إلا بذلت له إلا أنا صرفت له إلا جعلت له استحدت له صف المودة الحب الخالص مني من داخل قلبي آخر الأبد إلى آخر حياتي يعني ما من أحد أظهر لي حبا إلا وأنا أرد هذا أجيب هذا أقابل هذا بكل ما عندي من المودة المحبة الصافية الخالصة إلى آخر حياتي ولا قلاني وإن كان المسيء بنا وما أبغضني أحد إلا وإن كان هو هو في الخطأ هو الذي يعني أساء إلينا هو الذي يعني فعلنا فعلنا فعل بنا غير جميل إلا دعوت له الرحمن بالرشد إلا أنا رفعت يدي وطلبت من الله سبحانه وتعالى أن يعطيه الرشد والهداية ولأت منت على سر وما أحد وما أحد جاء إلي وأخبرني سر وجعلني أمينا على هذا السر على هذا الكلام الخفي فبحت به فذهبت وأخبرت الناس عن هذا القول لا لم أفعل هذا قط ولا مددت إلى غير الجميل يدي وما رفعت يدي وعملت بها شيئا لم يرضى الله سبحانه وتعالى به ولا أقول نعم ولا أنا أبدا أقول لأحد سأفعل هذا أو نعم يوما ما يوما ما فأتبعه ثم أتلوه أفعل بعده أو أقول له بأني لا أستطيع أن أفعل فلا أعيده بنعم ثم ثم أخلف وعدي لا لم أفعل هذا ولو أدى هذا النعم لو أدى هذا الكلمة إلى ذهاب هلاك كل ما عندي من المال والأولاد ما رأيكم في هذا الشعر شعر جميل نعم الحمد لله طيب okay so let's just go through this poem and translate it ما ودني no one ever loved me إلا بذلت له except that I exerted for them صف المودة pure love مني from me آخر الأبد until the end of time ولا قلاني and no one ever hated me وإن كان even if he was the one doing wrong bina to us إلا دعوت except that I made dua له for him to Rahman, the All-Merciful, bil Rashadi with guidance. وَلَأْتُ مِنْتُ And I was never entrusted ala sirrin of a secret. فَبُحْتُ بِهِ And then went and and disclosed it. وَلَا مَدَدْتُ And nor did I ever stretch ila غَيْرِ الْجَمِيلِ to other than good, something that's not good. Yadi my hand. وَلَا أَقُولُ And I do not say na'am. Yoman any day, فَأُتْبِعُهُ and then follow it up with bila with no, ولو ذهبت even if it took away mal, wealth and children. Jazakumullah khair, thank you very much for watching this video guys. Let me know of this uh, order, if you guys li like listening to the translation at the beginning of the poem and then going through it. Let me know what you guys think of that. Thank you to all my patrons who support my channel on a monthly basis. If any of you guys want to become a patron and support my channel, please consider it. It means a lot to me. It helps my channel to grow. Whatever you guys can give, whether it's a pound or a dollar a month or anything that you think that is appropriate for the work that I do. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept it from all of you guys. Put barakah in your efforts and please share my videos with others. And I will see you guys next time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.